Should our schools be opened up full-time, part-time, or not at all? With a brand new academic year fast approaching and COVID-19 cases surging, the debate rages. I'm Steve Forbes and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to navigate this ever-changing world. Discussions are getting intense over what approaches schools and colleges should take. Some school districts want to offer in-person instruction only a few days per week. Fairfax County, Virginia, for example, has decreed that families must decide between totally remote learning or two days a week in the classroom. New York City has announced that students will attend classes only two or three days a week and engage in remote learning on the other days. Universities like Harvard and MIT are opting for total online learning, no classroom attendance at all. This kind of thing is nonsense. Schools should be fully operational with instruction by live humans. No staying closed or opening only part-time. The evidence is overwhelming. Kids rarely get COVID-19, and if they do, with highly unusual exceptions, they get a very mild version of it. Moreover, kids hardly ever pass on the disease, even if they themselves are infected. And by the way, the Centers for Disease Control never recommended closing schools. The hard truth is that too many children have suffered academic and emotional harm from the months-long lockdowns that started in March. Another factor, not fully reopening schools disproportionately hurts low-income families. Parents have to miss work to look after the kids. This is grossly unfair and absolutely unnecessary. What about colleges? Masks and proper distancing are all that are needed for classroom instruction. Brown University, for example, is sensibly opening up this fall for incoming sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Freshman students will start in January and will also have to attend a summer semester. That summer semester, in fact, invites a fundamental, much needed discussion on why undergraduate education can't be completed in three years instead of the usual four to six cycle that is normal today. COVID-19 must not stand in the way of back to school, real school for the nation's young students. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Music